What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today I have some good news that the killer detective that was on a shooting spree yesterday, he is finally caught. He is arrested. Okay, so let's get into Mr. Stephen Broderick. All right, so is it Stephen or Stephen? Um, we're going to call him SB or... <laughs> son of a bee, you know, because that's what he acts like. But anyway, uh, Mr. Broderick was arrested on Monday morning, walking along the U.S. 290. Okay, he is suspected of killing two women and Willie Simmons in an apartment complex on Sunday. Okay, Mr. Broderick was on bail for sexually assaulting a child. He was arrested in June on 2020, then posted bond. OK, on Sunday, police say he opened fire on three people. Willie Simmons was named first by his football team. Broderick's daughter, Alyssa, was named as another victim by her school district. OK, the third has not been formally identified, but friends say is Amanda Broderick, his wife. OK. Oh, Lord Jesus. The pair were in the midst of a bitter custody battle last year after he was released on bond. Amanda said she feared for her life. She pleaded with the judge, I'm afraid he would try to hurt me or my children. The judge nonetheless agreed that he could have his ankle monitor removed. So basically, I'm going to say this, and some of you may not agree, but if... Amanda is pleading to the judge, please, 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 this man is going to do something. She knows him better than anybody. He's going to either hurt me or my child. And you're, she's pleading this to the judge, and he, the judge go ahead and still remove his ankle monitor? He played a part in all this as well. You might well say his hands is dirty too. Because if you know this, this guy's history... And I do think it's because he was on the, the police force. He was the detective. I think that that plays along with everything because I just don't understand why the judge would still release the ankle monitor off his from being on his ankle. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Okay, so Broderick, he's a detective. He killed his teenage daughter her boyfriend, and a woman believed to be his estranged wife on Sunday. Then went on the run. He has been arrested. Okay. He was taken into custody without incident, but had a pistol in his waistband. Broderick was a cop until June 2020 when he was arrested on suspicion of sexual assaulting a child. Okay. And for what I hear, the child was a family member. The statesman reports that the victim was a family member. Okay, there you go. He was released from custody after posting a $50,000 bond and was told not to go within 200 feet of his daughter, Alyssa. Now, you know, order protections do not work. I don't care what happens every time a woman take out an order for protection of, on a man that's harassing her, bothering her, or wants to do some type of harm to her, he finds a way to do it. Order of protection doesn't protect anybody. If you have to get an order of protection, you have to get one and leave where you're at. Move somewhere else. Don't say it. Don't stay in the same state. You have to go. You have to disappear. Okay? Because as long as you stay in the same state, he, that person is going to find you. And guess what? I've seen it happen many times. I've seen it happen many times. Nobody obeys the order of protection. They don't care. Okay, so in November, a judge agreed to remove his ankle monitor after his lawyer pleaded that he proved he could be trust, trusted not to wear it. Okay, so the lawyer and the judge, hands are dirty, okay? Because he shouldn't have had that ankle monitor removed. His wife pleaded with the judge not to, saying she feared for her life. On Sunday, he shot dead Alyssa, that's his daughter, Alyssa's boyfriend, Willie Simmons. Then he went on the run, right? The SWAT teams were scrambled. And, oh, and it was scrambled, okay? And overnight manhunt was ensued. 
The Austin Police Department would not confirm the victims identify uh, the victims identities on Monday morning when contacted by the Daily Mail. So the Daily Mail contacted them and asked them who they were. But we know that he killed his daughter Alyssa and her boyfriend Willie Simmons. He is a monster. How could you kill your own child because you're in a custody battle? You are the sick person. You are the crazy one. You are out here causing all this havoc and chaos for what? For what? You're the one that's the monster. You're the one that's doing wrong. But yet you took away your daughter's life, okay? You took away someone else's child life and your estranged wife. So, I don't understand why he was off the monitor anyway. He, you know what? He probably would have did this mess if he was on the monitor still or whatever the case may be. He had it in for her. He wanted to hurt these, these people. He had it in his mind. There was no turning back. This is what he wanted to do. So when they go to sentence him and punish him, I hope they give three people justice. Amanda, Alyssa, and Willie. They need justice because he took their lives from them. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. <sighs> Alyssa and Willie were both, both named by their school district. She had a promising basketball career, and Willie was a tight end for the University of Tech, North Texas. Another child believed to be Broderick's son was not harmed. Amanda was named by a friend on social media. We are heartbroken by the news of the census tragedy and we, we extend our deepest condolences to the family of Willie Simmons III and Alyssa Broderick. That monster took these people's lives. Took their lives. I, I just don't understand. <sighs> These kids had promising careers. Promising careers. They was headed somewhere. Oh, so um, Broderick, he has prior military experience and he was SWAT trained. Okay, if he wanted to hurt someone, he would know how. The state district judge, Karen Sage, agrees to remove the monitor despite Amanda's plea. So the judge is a woman. So you mean to tell me, that makes it even worse now. The judge is a woman. So you mean to tell me another woman is pleading to you because you are a judge and you are a female saying, please do not remove it because I'm afraid of my life. And you still go ahead and remove it because the lawyer says he's trustworthy? No, he's not trustworthy. You can see what he has done. I hope... The judge gets no rest. I hope she lives in guilt because this could have been avoided. It's just, I don't understand. She told the statesman on Sunday that it was a pretty common thing to do. He had been on GPS for five months with no violation. It's a pretty common thing for me to do. Yeah, okay. The reason why he wasn't doing it the five months because he was monitored. If he would have stayed monitored, maybe these three people would have been here today. Come on. He's a he's a detective. Okay, he has military training and SWAT training. I'm pretty sure he know how to get over on the system. <sighs> I tell you, I'm just glad that they caught him. Okay, I'm just glad that they caught him, and I hope they give him a sentence that he would never. Well, he's never going to see the light of day anyway. He need to be charged. He need to do three life sentences. He took away Alyssa's, Amanda's, and Willie's. He needs to be charged with um, three life sentences. That's what he needs to do. Mm -mm. And the fact that he sexually assaulted a child um, before it was a family member. Come on. Why was he even still walking? Why was he even still allowed to have bail? That's, that's the thing that bothers me. Why was he still, why did he still get bail? 
he assaulted a child. A, I, I, you know what? Sometimes with these states, I don't understand how they work. Because if you assaulted a child, you should be held with no bail. Point blank, period. Okay? He was released from the force, but he still had training. He still has, you know, his knowledge of, of being on, being a detective, being on the force and everything. And look what he go and do. He kills his strange wife. Willie Simmons, Alyssa. My condolences and prayers to everybody that's a victim in this. I know it's not going to bring back your loved ones, but, you know, this is a serious thing. It's, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. And I wish this man get the most, the biggest punishment they can give. Okay, but for that judge, I don't understand how she let him go. She said, oh, he he was OK. He was monitored for five months. But look, look, look what happened now. As his estranged wife pleaded to you, you should have listened to her, at least take her into your chambers and said, well, can I have a word with you and talk to her? But see, I don't think judge judges really care, because if I was a judge and she did that to me, I'm going to say, Hold on, let me talk to this young lady in my chambers and I'm going to get the, the, the rundown of everything. And then I'll come back and be like, you know what, well, I'm not going to take the monitor off. Because if that monitor was still been on, which it should have been, I don't think this would have happened. But then again, you didn't even know with him. Okay? Oh, goodness. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just glad they caught him. But I'm so sad for Alyssa, Amanda, and Willie. That they are no longer here with us. I'm so sad for that because they didn't deserve that. They did not deserve that. All right, you guys, that's all I have for right now. I have some other stuff coming up later, and I will get into that later on. But for now, I will talk to you guys later. All right? Take it easy. Give some prayers and condolences in the comment section for the victims of this tragic incident.